they knew already how to give an equation for a line. y equals ax plus b. So why do we need a parametric equation of a line? Well, the equation y equals ax plus b only works in R2, whereas parametric equations work for any Rn. So if we want to describe lines in R3 and higher, we will need parametric equations. We'll see even more in this video. You will learn how you can get your x equals uh, uh, y equals ax plus b back from the parametric equation in 2D. Of course, you already know how to find an equation of a line like that. We will do this mainly because we will generalize this geometric construction later on. But first, we will look at the parametric equation of a line. We will do it in 2D in order to simplify the drawings a bit. We have two points, p and q, and the question is how can we find the parametric equation of the line L through p and q? Well, we know this equation is a form r0, which where r0 is a vector from the origin to any point of the, on the line, plus t times v, where v is a vector in the direction of the line. So, how does it look in the picture? Here we have p, there we have q, and for r0 we can take any vector from the origin to the line. Well, this, uh, we chose to take the uh, vector from the origin to p, so minus 1, 0. And v is a vector which is in the direction of the line. So we took this one, going from p to q. If we want from p to go from p to q, we have to go three steps in the x direction and three steps in the y direction. So v is the vector 3, 3. So there we have our parametric equation of the line r of t equals r0 plus t times v. That's the parametric one. How can we get our normal equation y equals ax plus b back? Well, let's see. We have a certain trick for that. It's not so special maybe in 2D, but we will be able to generalize it later on with exactly the same idea. Let's see. So here our r is an arbitrary point on the line. RR0 is the same as in the previous one, just from the origin to any point. And then I know my vector W connects R0 and R. So R, general point on the line, R0, specific given point, and W, combination of the two. And this vector N as a vector which is normal on the line, orthogonal to all points on the line, the normal vector. Now we know R0 plus W equals R, so we can find W. W equals R minus R0. And if we now compute the inner product with N, we see N and W are orthogonal. So that means that N, inner product W equals 0. So if we take the inner product of this equation over here, we find that normal vector in a product with r minus r0 equals 0. That doesn't really look like y equals ax plus b, right? Well, let's see an explicit example from this one. Over here, we had our vector v3,3 three, three in the direction of the line. So orthogonal to that is, for example, the vector minus 1, 1. If you take the inner product with v3,3, three, three, you get 0. So we have the um, vector minus 1, 1 as normal in this example over here. And then we just fill everything in. R is an arbitrary point on the line, so that, that, that is denoted by x, y, and R0 is the same as before, minus 1, 0. And if you work out the inner product, what do we get? Well, you get minus 1 times x minus minus 1, so x plus 1 over here, plus 1 times y minus 0, so plus 1 times y. So what do we get? y equals x plus 1, which is exactly of the form y equals ax plus b with a equals 1, the slope, indeed 1, and 1, the intersection with the y-axis also as 1. So this is how you can get back from your parametric equation, your normal equation, which you are used to.